Hello, friends. During World War Roman II, the Soviet helmet was highly sought after among Wehrmacht soldiers, and everyone dreamed of acquiring one. What caused its popularity? The SSH-40. In June 1941, the Soviet Union entered the war, utilizing three types of steel helmets, the SSH-36, SSH-39, and SSH-40 series. The first two types were no longer in production, but since there were large quantities of them in storage, they continued to be issued to troops. The SSH-40 was an improved version of the helmet, incorporating all the drawbacks of previous models. By the time Germany attacked the Soviet Union, they already possessed a much larger variety of steel helmets. This included helmets from World War I, such as the M16, M17, and M18, which were primarily used in rear areas, as well as more modern models like the M35 and M40 used on the front lines. By 1942, Hitler realized that his lightning-fast capture of the Soviet Union had failed, and the war would now take on a completely different character. Millions of soldiers were being drafted into the German army, and they needed to be armed and equipped, including with steel helmets. The high command of the Wehrmacht realized that their available resources of steel or armed elements would not be sufficient. In this situation, a decision was made to maximize cost reduction and simplification of production for certain items, including steel helmets. Thus, in 1942, the M42 steel helmet was developed. It was lighter, cheaper to produce, but had a simplified steel composition. The Soviet Union also worked on modernizing and cost-reducing production while maintaining the quality of the products, experimenting with different steel grades. In December 1942, a commission was formed with the task of conducting comparative tests on domestically produced and German steel helmets. Nearly 1,000 SSH-40 helmets and 270 German helmets were shot on, detonated during the tests. The result showed that the bullet resistance of domestically produced helmets was significantly higher than that of the German helmets in all types of tests. This fact was also clearly evident in actual combat situations, even without conducting tests. Therefore, German soldiers would exchange their tin cans for our SSH-40 at the first opportunity because it was much more reliable, although not as comfortable to wear on the head as the German helmet. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Well, I'm off to search for new interesting and unusual facts. This was Dad Knight. Thank you for watching.